gentlemen, boys and girls, mathematicians of all ages, let's welcome to the show me, Miss McCarthy. Thanks for joining me today on this episode of Math Misconception Mystery. This is an interactive show where you are the mathematical detective. But before we begin, we need to get our minds right with the mathematical mindset creed. Say it with me, detectives. This is a safe place to make mistakes. Mistakes help me learn and grow. I am a hard worker. I am resourceful. I stick with it until I get it. I am brave. I take charge of my learning. I ask questions when I don't understand. When in doubt, I draw it out, if possible. I respect and actively listen to the ideas of others. Okay, detectives, now that our brilliant minds are ready, here's today's problem. Jackie creates a math riddle. Solve her math riddle. I'm thinking of a number with three digits. The tens place has a value of 40. The ones place is odd, greater than five, but less than nine. It would take 80 tens to model the hundreds place. What is my number? Before we introduce our four guest students, I want you to solve this problem on your own. So go ahead, pause this video, and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Now let's see how our four guest students solve this problem. Make sure you pay attention to any mistakes or misconceptions they may make and jot down your notes in your detective diary to discuss later. Hi everybody, here's what I did. I saw that there needed to be a 40 in the tens place, because it said 40. I saw that there needed to be an 80 in the hundreds place, so I put 80 right there. And it said that in the ones place, it had to be a five or a nine, so that's what I did. 80, 40, 59. What's up, everybody? Listen. The bases are loaded and I am about to go smash a home run over the fence. But first I wanted to make sure that I helped you solve this problem. So here's what I did, okay? The tens place. It stated that the tens place had a value of 40, so I put a four in the tens place, which has a value of 40. It says that the ones place um, is odd and it's between five and nine and seven is between five and nine and it's an odd number. So there we go there. And in the hundreds place, it said that it would take 80 tens to represent the hundreds place. So 80 tens to represent the hundreds place. So 847 is your answer. Frogs are awesome, in case you didn't know. And so is math. And let me show you how I solve this problem. So, I got the answer, 843. How I did that was it said three digits, so I put three lines to represent the digits. Four in the tens place, because the four has a value of 40. I put an eight in the hundreds place, because 80 tens is the same thing as eight hundreds. And a three in the ones place, because it said that it needed to be odd. and Three is an odd number, and frogs are really awesome. Well, howdy, everybody. I'm here to tell you how to solve this problem, so just follow along with me, okay? All right, so there were three digits. I put three lines for those three digits. Four in the tens place, because that's a value of 40. I put a seven in the ones place because it said that it had to be odd and in between five and nine and seven is in between five and nine. And then I put 80 in the hundreds place because it said the value of the hundreds place was 80. So 80 hundreds, that's your number. Thank you very much. 
Well, there you have it, detectives. You have just seen our four guest students solve this problem. Three made a mistake and only one got it correct. Use your detective diary to help you discuss, decide, and justify who is correct and incorrect in today's episode of Math Misconception Mystery. Bye bye detectives, I'll catch you later in another episode.